what's up everybody? It is Dave and we are here with today's reading of the New Testament. For those of you who have been following along, you know that we are in the book of Luke and we're going to be starting on chapter 22 today. Um, fair warning straight up front, today's video is going to be a longer video and that is because today's reading is 71 verses long. <laughs> oh, these glasses are dirty. Alright, so... Um, we're going to cover the topics of the plot to kill Jesus, Jesus and his disciples prepare the Passover, Jesus institutes the Lord's Supper, the disciples argue about greatness, Jesus predicts Peter's denial, supplies for the road, the prayer in the garden, betrayal and arrest in Gethsemane, Peter denies Jesus and weeps bitterly, Jesus is mocked and beaten. And Jesus faces the Sanhedrin. You thought they were just in the movies, didn't you? No, nope, they were real. <laughs> All right, as always, if you don't have a Bible, um, you can follow along at uh, Bible.com or the YouVersion app on your on a uh, device. We'll be reading out of the New King James Version today. Uh, there will also be links down below if you want to purchase a Bible um, to where you can get one uh, on Amazon. That's where I got this one. So, all right, here we go. Now the feast of the unleavened bread drew near, which is called Passover, and the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him, for they feared the people. Then Satan entered Judas, surnamed Iscariot, who was numbered among the twelve. So he went his way and conferred with the chief priests and captains how he might betray him to them, and they were glad and agreed to give him money. So he promised and sought opportunity to betray him to them in the absence of the multitude. Then came the day of unleavened bread, when the Passover must be killed. And he sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare the Passover for us that we may eat. So they said to him, Where do you want us to prepare? And he said to them, Behold, when you enter the city, a man will meet you carrying a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house which he enters, then you shall say to the master of the house, and the teacher says to you, Where is the guest room where I may eat Passover with my disciples? Then he will show you a large furnished upper room, there make ready. So they went and found it just as he had said to them, and they prepared the Passover. How awesome is that? Like <laughs> that's just amazing. You know, one of the one of the tiny miracles that he It's just amazing. Our God is an awesome God. <clears throat> when the hour had come, he sat down and the twelve apostles with him. And he said to them, With fervent desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say to you, I will no longer eat of it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it amongst yourselves. For I say to you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This is the cup of the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. But behold, the hand of my betrayer is with me on the table. And truly the Son of Man goes as it has been determined. But woe to the man by whom he is betrayed. Then they began to question amongst themselves which of them it was going to be who would do this thing. And there was also a dispute among them as to which of them should be considered the greatest. Leave it to people, right? <laughs> 2,000 years later and we're still trying to figure out who's the greatest. And he said to them, The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them. And those who exercise authority over it, over them, are called benefactors. But not so among you. On the contrary, he who is greatest among you, let him be as the younger, and he who governs as he who serves. For who is greater, he who sits at the table or he who serves? Is it he who sits at the table? Yet I am among you as the one who serves. But you are those who have continued with me in my trials. And I bestow upon you a kingdom, just as my father bestowed one upon me, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on, the, on thrones judging the twelve tribes 
of Israel. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, indeed, Satan has asked for you that he may sift that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail, and when you have returned to me, strengthen your brethren. But he said to him, Lord, I am ready to go with you, both to prison and to death. Then he said, I tell you, Peter, the rooster shall not crow this day before you will deny me three times that you know me. And he said to them, When I sent you without money bag, knapsack, and sandals, did you lack anything? So they said, Nothing. And he said to them, But now he who has a money bag, let him take it, and likewise a knapsack. And he who has no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. For I say to you, that this which is written must be accomplished in me. And he was numbered with the transgressors. For the things concerning me have an end. So they said, Lord, look, here are two swords. And he said to them, It is enough. The prayer in the garden. Coming out, he went to the Mount of Olives, as he was accustomed, and his disciples also followed him. When he came to the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. And, it, and as he withdrawn from them, about a, th- a stone's throw, he knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Then an angel appeared to him from heaven, strengthening him. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. Then... His sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. When he rose up from prayer and had come back to his disciples, he found them sleeping from sorrow. Then he said to them, Why do you sleep? Rise and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. And while he was still speaking, behold, a multitude, and he who was called Judas, one of the twelve, went before him and drew near to Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said to him, Judas, Are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? And those around him saw what what was going to happen. They said to him, Lord, we shall strike with the sword. And one of them struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. But Jesus answered and said, Permit even this. And he touched his ear and healed him. Then Jesus said to the chief priests, certain captains of the temple, and the elders who had come to him, Have you come out against as a robber with swords and clubs? When I was with you daily in the temple, you did not try to seize me, but this is your hour and the power of darkness. Having arrested him, they led him and brought him into the high priest's house, but Peter followed at a distance. Now when they had kindled a fire in the midst of the courtyard and sat down together, Peter sat among them, and a certain servant girl, seeing him as he sat by the fire, looked intently at him and said, This man was also with him. But he denied him, saying, Woman, I do not know him. And after a little while, another saw him and said, You also are are of them. But Peter said, Man, I am not. Then about an hour had passed, and another confidently affirmed, saying, Surely this fellow also was with him, for he is a Galilean. But Peter said, Man, I do not know what you are saying. Immediately while he was still speaking, the rooster crowed. And the Lord turned and looked at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said to him, Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. So Peter went out and wept bitterly. Now the men who had held Jesus mocked him and beat him, and having blindfolded him, they struck him on the face and asked him, saying, Prophecy, who is the one who struck you? And many other things they blasphemously spoke against him. The last part, verses 66 through 71, talk about Jesus faces the Sanhedrin. As soon as it was day, the elders of the people, both chief priests and scribes, came together and led him to their council, saying, If you are the Christ, tell us. But he said to them, If I tell you, you will by no means believe. And if I also ask you, you will by no means answer me or let me go. Hereafter the Son of Man will sit on the right hand of the power of God. Then they all said, Are you then the Son of God? He said to them, You rightly say that I am. And they said, What further testimony do we need? For we have heard it ourselves from his mouth. Wow. 
a lot of a lot of stuff in those 71 verses isn't there all right that concludes chapter 22 uh, next will be chapter 23 and uh, 24 is the last chapter in the book of Luke and then we'll be moving on to the gospel according to John so um, thanks so much for watching we hope that you enjoyed it um, as always we love it if you give us a um, a like uh, if you subscribe to the channel however what we really want you to do even if you don't do either of those two is simply just share this video help us get this you know help us get the good news out into the world um, that is uh, really the the second goal that I have of this the first goal was for me to read the Bible um, the, the New Testament I should say from front to back um, the accountability is doing it with you um, and so hopefully uh, hopefully I'm helping you all achieve the same goal that I've set out for myself so thanks so much um, I really, I really appreciate the comments that you guys give. Um, thank you for, for sharing those of you that have shared. Um, it, it's, it's amazing. I mean, the answers that you need to everything that's going on right now in this world, everything. I, I, don't, I don't care what it is. What, everything that you need to know, the answers are seriously in this book. This book right here. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Um, stand tall. Um, in the in the face of fear, and there's a lot of that facing you know everyone right now, uh, but don't let it get you. All right, thanks so much. Appreciate you guys watching the video. As always, God bless.